Hello everyone. Here in this video, we are going to see quantum confined stark effect. We know what is Stark effect. Stark effect is nothing but the splitting of atomic spectra upon the application of electric field. Here we are going to see Stark effect in quantum well structures. But before going to that, first let's, let us understand the effect of electric field in bulk semiconductor. In the case of bulk semiconductor, we know that is the semiconductor have balance band and conduction band and they have the energy gap Eg between them. Now let us consider two points A and B. When a photon of energy H nu greater than the band gap energy falls what happens the electron from the point A makes an upward transition and we can understand from the absorption spectra that we get a structure like this in the case of gallium arsenide that is the bulk gallium arsenide at room temperature. Now what happens when an electric field is applied? what happens the band starts tilting so this is balance band this is conduction band and now what happens when a photon of energy h nu falls when a photon of energy h nu which is less than eg falls what happens the electron at the point a uh, here the points uh, as the there is a tilting uh, the points are now shifted here uh, now uh, a photon of energy h nu uh, less than eg force what happens the electron can make an upward transition till this point because the energy is less than eg so it comes to this point now here there is allowed energy state in the conduction band so what happens the electron now can tunnel into this conduction band. In the earlier case, the photon is having energy greater than the band gap, but here in this case, the photon is having energy less than the band gap. So, with the help of the uh, tunneling, it, the electron is making an upward transition. So, this is a photon assisted. tunneling. So, uh, uh, the absorption takes place at the even at the lesser energy here. So, in this absorption spectra there is a shift in the shift to the lower energy. So, this shift or the red shift in the absorption is called the called as Franz Keldis effect. Franz Keldis effect. This was named after the German scientist Walter Franz and a Russian scientist Leonid Keldis. So, this is the case of electric field in a bulk semiconductor. Now, we are going to see what happens when we pass electric field to a quantum well structure. So, this is the quantum well structure. Uh, we have taken so just the first energy level. So, the potential well is nothing but the gallium arsenide having thickness approximately 100 armstrong and the barriers are aluminum gallium arsenide. The thickness of this well is be LZ and the barrier thickness be LB. 
the diameter of the exciton in bulk gallium arsenide is uh, approximately 300 angstroms. But our potential will have the thickness of only 100 angstrom. So what happens inside this well, uh, the exciton is compressed like a pancake. So the exciton now becomes, uh, the shape of the exciton in two dimension becomes uh, compressed like a pancake. So the wave function uh, of the excitons, that's or the uh, electrons will be penetrating into the barrier material. So we have the wave function penetration inside the barrier just like this. So this is for the electrons and this is the case for uh, holes. Here we are just considering the heavy hole one energy level alone. So there is a slight penetration of wave function into the barrier material. We know the relation between absorption coefficient and the well thickness. So the absorption coefficient for two dimension is related to the thickness inversely related. So as we reduce the thickness of the potential well, what happens? The absorption of, uh, becomes more. But we cannot reduce it as, as we wish. There is an optimum well width because as we increase, uh, as we decrease the uh, thickness of the potential well, what happens? The wave function uh, starts penetrating into the barrier material. So there is a po optimum potential width for gallium arsenide. The optimum potential width is for gallium arsenide is approximately 50 angstrom. Similarly for indium gallium arsenide it is approximately 80 angstrom. Now we are going to apply the electric field. The electric field is applied perpendicular to the layers. So what happens as we uh, we have seen earlier that the case of bulk semiconductor, in the case of bulk semiconductor, the band starts, uh, we saw that the band starts tilting. In such a way here, the band starts tilting. So what happens? the band starts tilting as we apply electric field. So what happens? The wave function, the wave function for both the uh, electrons and holes are shifted towards the um, walls of the barriers. Here for the electrons it is shifted towards here and similarly for holes it is shifted towards here. So the overlapping uh, of the wave function starts decreasing. So in this uh, absorption spectrum, without the field, we get uh, the quantum well, uh, that the absorption spectrum in a quantum well like we saw in the last video, we have, we are taking here the, just the heavy hole case. So we have only one peak. So when we apply field, there will be shift in the uh, excitonic peaks towards the lower energy. And this shift in the um, absorption towards the lower energy is called the quantum confined Stark effect. We can also say it as a red shift in the absorption um, is called the quantum confined Stark effect.
So here this is the E is equal to 0. So as we increase the voltage or, or as we increase the electric field, what happens? Uh, the, the peak starts broadening because the electron and uh, hole wave functions are separated far away from each other. And also there is a possibility of tunneling into the barrier. And so because of that what happens? Uh, the excitonic peaks starts broadening and shifting towards the, uh, that we can also see the shifting towards the lower end. So this effect is highly uh, useful for um, modulators, optical modulators. So the phenomenon, this phenomenon is called as quantum confined Stark effect. Thank you.